that. And I just saved you. That I can get some shots that don't have spray in them. So now that I'm more appropriately attired, you can see the sky above me is cleared up. So I believe it's good for the soul to get the cold water plunges every morning. I daren't let go of the tripod as well here. Maybe I understand, like I said a moment ago, why I was being woken up uh, all through the night because, and now the whole area is really starting to come alive. Imagine a rainbow coming through all that here. The next shot with a rainbow in it. I've just sent the drone up as well and it looks incredible. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog and welcome to a blustery location on the northwest coast of Kerry. Now, I'm still on my road trip, so my last episode when I found that absolutely stunning spot, now I found, I think, another stunning spot. And I parked up overnight and it was a strange one because it's windy, but it's not overly windy. I've been in more windy conditions, but it felt like the van was going to be blown away. So I was woken up a number of times with the amount of rocking that was happening from the wind hitting the van and the noise of the wind as well was quite incredible. So pretty much mixed bag of sleep. You know, I think I woke up a couple of times. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but now I'm up just before the dawn. And why I came here is if you look, we have an opportunity for sunrise on the west coast of Ireland, which is something that you normally don't have. But the positioning of this is it's a part of the headland that kind of curves back in amongst itself. And now behind me, I've got some stunning structures to get some photographs of. So there is one singular sea stack here. I think you can see it here, even if you can see me. Oh, thought you were going to go there with this wind. Maybe it is blustery. Um, just here which uh, I'm going to be getting some photographs of. I got some great wave action and some great shapes as well in the rocks and where I'm at, at the moment here is a pier so I think that's going to form some basis of my shots as well. So I'm excited actually to shoot this place and hopefully to get a bit of colour. I know I'll get a bit of light but I'm not sure if I'm going to get a bit of colour but either which way we'll see but I'm going to get my first shot up set in here before the light arrives and I'll talk you through once I get that. And I just saved you. After I just got that shot, uh, you saw that you nearly fell over, right? Um, and I took a test shot, and now I know what the story with this weather is. This is, I suppose, an unexpected storm. So I've come back to the van here now because I want to change out. I want to put on my waterproof gear. I want to put on my waterproof trousers. Actually, I grabbed those. Um, and I want to make sure that I can get some shots that don't have spray in them. So the shot that I got there, I know sooner had it set up. Then I looked at the front of the lens and it was absolutely covered in rain. So yeah, I can now understand where this weather uh, issue has come from, even though it's not on any of the forecasts that I'm looking at, but nonetheless, that's the advantage, I suppose, of Ireland and seascape photography, because you never know just exactly what you're going to get. So yeah, I'm going to get suited up here, ready for the elements, and I'll join you back out there again in a moment.
now that I'm more appropriately attired, you can see the sky above me is cleared up. So that shower that came through, maybe I was a bit premature, but it looked like, if you look at the horizon there, it looked like it was going to be long lasting. But now what I've done here is I have gone for a couple of different types of shots actually. So uh, with the stack here behind me, I don't want to go down too far right away because I'm going to lose the separation of the stack. So I've put on some filters. I've got my polarizer and I've got my six stop equivalent on and I've gone for some 15 second exposures and I've taken some in portrait and I've also taken some in landscape and the portrait I think works well because I'm able to get all of these rocks and colors that you see in the greens that are below here into the shot more prevalent but I said I'd still take a landscape anyway as well just to have that shot too. Now looking at the sky I don't know I mean if it's going to get any color or not I think we are at sunrise already so yeah I don't know look here's the uh, first set of shots anyway here now still a stunning 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 location I am going to move further on down here the guy in the car I see over my shoulder here uh, just arrived a moment ago I went in for a swim in that uh, brave man but I believe it's good for the soul to get the cold water plunges every morning and what better place to do it than in the wild Atlantic but I couldn't get a shot of him because I was doing my long exposure here's the shots Now I've come further on down here and behind me you can see the bit of the jetty that's sticking out here and still going with my long exposures I do think they're actually nice shots. Now I am at 15 seconds at the moment and then I'm now trying a 20 second as well just to see how that's going to turn out. Can I smooth out the water a bit more? F11 ISO 100. The sky is as bright as it can be. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get any light, like I said a moment ago. But if you look here behind me, you can see that I still have separation on that stack um, from the main headland. So if I go down any further, so if I spin you around here for a moment. So if I come down any further here, you see that the interplay between that now it gets too close to the headland. So if I go anywhere further on down, I will lose that as a stack within itself. But I still think where I am right now with the movement in the water that you have below here, it's a stunning, stunning scene. What a place to be able to have for a sunrise shoot on the northwest coast of Kerry. Uh, I think it's phenomenal. What a find. I've never been here before. And like again, yesterday when I, or last week, when I found the other location, it's great to explore and find new locations. Now, I daren't let go of the tripod as well here because there are gusts of wind that are coming through. So now I maybe I understand, like I said a moment ago, why I was being woken up uh, all through the night because that wind was relentless. And is anyone right behind me over here? Maybe you cannot, cannot see it. Underneath that bank of cloud is Loop Head and Loop Head Lighthouse. So, you know, we are right at the cusp of Northwest Kerry and that's County Clare on the distance as well there on the horizon. But look at this. Look at this stunning, stunning, stunning scene. Yeah, once the light now comes up more, I think it's going to really bring out the textures and the colors that we have below here. But here's the shots that we have for now. actually starting to get some color here right above me you probably can't see it I'll show you a separate bit of footage there on it but starting to get a small lick of color here from the sunrise and now the whole area is really starting to come alive the blue in the water is great you can kind of see the reflection of the color there on the water but now with the waves that are coming in I've taken off my six stop and I'm leaving on my polarizer and I'm going for a quarter of a second exposure and that's given me enough movement in the waves that are below here and then I can keep some of the detail as well in the sky 
I think what I like about here again, similar to the previous composition, is the area below me here and I'm getting the bit of that pier on the other side as well. Now, even that frame that I have here, I think is nice. So I might actually turn and use the, the jetty here as part of the image as well, maybe next. But I wait now to see if I get any more of that color lighting up as well. But yeah, happy with these ones now. Um, again, quarter of a second, I'm at F13 actually, and ISO 100, and I am as wide as I can go at 16 mil. So I might um, punch in there now to uh, 35, just to get a bit more of a compressed image. Not much obviously between 16 and 35, but it will change the perspective as well. So yeah, I'll give you a look at the next set of shots I've gotten now. Next, what I've done is I've the camera more down in this kind of an idea. So this is kind of like the frame that I have, but you're getting the stack as well in there. And I'm going for a 30 second exposure. So I put back on my six stop. I'm at F6.3, which is not ideal because obviously I'm not getting good depth of field on that, but I'm going into manual focus and made sure that everything is in focus there. So it should be okay. ISO is what I had to pump up there to 200. Uh, mainly because with the light, I guess you can see here, it's not overly bright just yet. I know that as that's going to get brighter, uh, I should get, you know, uh, to drop back down my ISO and bring back up my aperture. Now, looking at the sky as well here, there are some nice hints of colour and some blushes of colour. So I do look at the top set of clouds there, they've gone kind of white. So that is all of the color, but I think I got to manage to get a nice blush of color anyway in those shots. It would be amazing actually here with this. If you can imagine, imagine a rainbow coming through all that here. So if we get the sun up with that rain, you never know, there could be a chance for a rainbow happening here. But I think even with some direct light as well on this, it could be lovely as well. Now that might happen because over there, that big bright area is a blue part of the sky. So I'm still going to hang around here for the morning and see how I get on anyway. Now, what I'm going to do now after this is I'm going to go down below here, have a look anyway, see what the composition is like. I know I'm going to lose the separation on the stack there, but I still think down there could be nice from a long exposure point of view. And then I'm going to go back up more or less to where I started because as the water comes in now more, it'll kind of fill up the area that was more stones this morning. And I think I'll get a wider shot as well of that using the pier here too. So they're the next set of shots that I'm going to get. Here's this one here now, which you can see, which is more or less that. But I'll show it to you now from the camera in a moment. Now down here is not the greatest from the stack point of view, but definitely works well from a long exposure point of view. So I'm at 30 seconds now, I'm up to 7.1. ISO is still at 200. You can see the cloud here, it's behind where the sun is, so it's blocking that light. But you can see in the distance here, we're getting that strip of light. I am getting raindrops on me. I'm also getting sea spray on me. So I'm having to constantly clean the front of the filters. And now even as it is, there's another wind coming in here with rain as well also. So really, really great and mixed conditions here today. I really like these shots, the long exposures. They kind of look a bit fine art to me, but I like the subtle color and the pastel colors that you have here behind me on this overall stunning, stunning, stunning scene. So yeah, here's this one anyway here. Now next, like I said, I'm gonna go back up towards where I already started because I got more water, so I think I can get a nicer shot, but I'm gonna wait now here just for this next spray to go away or rain to go away. Um, next shots back up here again in a moment.
Had I known sooner, say, wouldn't it be great if you had a rainbow here? If you just look at the very edge of that headland, you've got the makings of a very small rainbow. No, it's not fully complete, but I'm just getting a glimpse of it in the corner of the frame. And we're getting nice light as well now over on to Loophead Lighthouse there in County Clare. So the sun is up, the sun is giving direct light. I hope I get a nice rainbow in the middle of all of that. Who knows, but right now anyway, yeah, here the next shot with a rainbow in it, which is great. If I can predict it, then hopefully it will happen. Next shot after this. Look at this, the uh, rainbow there is still outside on the horizon and now the sun is just about to break through the bank of clouds that it was actually sitting in and you can start to see it lighting up over here. Now, I've just sent the drone up as well and it looks incredible as well from the air. So yeah, I'll give you a look at the image from here, the drone footage, and then hopefully the sun will come up now as well. You can see it's starting to light things up here. So I think it's going to completely transform the scene. So yeah. I love the fact that I found this place and nobody else here, other than the guy who was crazy enough to go swimming there this morning. Fair play to him, like I said, but yeah, here's the shots now. I just changed out to my long lens here and it is just the second now disappeared the intensity on that color and that rainbow. So the sun now is going back into another set of clouds. So the direct light now is disappearing. But even here with the long lens, what a fantastic, fantastic morning. I'm so happy now that I managed to find this place and to get the variety of shots. Drone footage was lovely as well. And now with this lens, with this lens on, just to be able to get the base of the pier here as well. Nice bit of layering as well also. Here's these shots finally now. So thank you very much as always for joining. I hope you enjoyed this episode. The rain now as well is starting to come in. So I think I've timed it again perfectly. 
Uh, I don't know if the sun is going to pop back out through those clouds to give me a rainbow right in front of me. It might do. Imagine if I got a rainbow right over that. But <laughs> that would be greedy. So yeah, listen, look, thanks very much as always for joining. Like I said, hope you can join me next week for my next adventure. And I'll see you on Wednesday for Behind the Raw, where I'll talk you through one of the edits from this morning's amazing shoot. So yeah, it's getting windy now. So thanks again, everybody. Schlange fall. You nearly fell.